Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of The Gentleman's Club. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm doing yet again another Ume Shu review. This time over the Choya Black. This will be the third and consecutive review that I've did over these Choyas. I started off here with the single year, and then I moved on to the age three years, and now I'm doing this one, the Black. Uh, there is no age listed on here. I assume that it's either has been aged for a year or under a year because it's not listed anywhere. But um, there is a few differences between these three. Uh, accordingly, the age three years is the most expensive one available on the market. But uh, I did a head-to-head -head comparison between these two, the single year and the age three years. And even though this is the most expensive, it is, uh, even though it's adequate in taste, it's not so much to my liking. But um, in terms of price, as you can see, I have a half size bottle of single year and I have a full size black. Now, if you were to purchase the full size single year, the full size single year and the black would uh, come out to exactly the same price for the how many this is 720 milliliters I believe and that price is 1077 Japanese yen which works out to about 10 US dollars for both in the full size versions now what is the difference between the single year and the black well it says here on the back of the black that the sweetness body and aroma is a lot stronger and more intense in this one than inside of this one the only thing that's more inside of here is the aging and the and the tartness is the is about the same uh, the tartness is a little bit stronger on here in the aging but this one more intense in body sweetness and aroma so without further ado we're going to crack this open gonna have a nice little taste first time to use this glass here not a glass it's more like a, a metal cup this one was gifted to me some years ago uh, very nice made in Japan and this would be the first time that I've ever used this after having it for I would say about five to six years Now I like sweet, so I'm hoping that this one is very sweet. There are some, some tags on here. It just says uh, product of Japan, established 1914. And then there's like a little bit of a history of Choya inside of here. If you want to know more about Umeshu and Choya, I suggest you look at my introduction video to Umeshu. It was uh, made three videos prior to the one that you are now watching. Pour ourselves enough of a nice helping here. <sighs> it's difficult to describe the aroma of Umeshu. It's the smell if you will, is like a culmination of a couple of fruits like grapes and pears and uh, some some sweeter fruit. The smell of this one is very sweet. And it smells like the culmination of the fruits that I just uh, mentioned. Very nice. Mmm. The taste of this one does it for me. Uh, this is pretty good. 
I can't say necessarily whether this is better than the single year, but for my own liking, I would say that this is definitely better than the age three years for me. Not as strong, a very playful drink. Goes down smooth and easy. Mm. Again, these ume fruits comes from uh, Wakayama Prefecture, which is right below me here in Osaka. Very, wow, it does it for me. This one is not so intense, but just is very well-rounded and I, I like it like that. I think I might have to do another head-to-head -head comparison video between the single year and the black because you know, off the top of head and memory, I can't say which one is necessarily better at this point in time. I can just say that this is good and it's uh, very adequate to my liking. All right, gentlemen, I thank you for watching this very quick review over the Choya Black. Make sure that you drink responsibly. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, keep it classy.